Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Merkel denies any rift with French leader EU appeals to Russia not to introduce gay propaganda law Prospect of EU exit boosts support for Scottish independence EU Digital Agenda Chief promises single mobile market by 2015. Plus, the EU set to brand Lebanon's Hezbollah as terrorists. I'm Rick Timmis, and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. German Chancellor Angela Merkel may not have a bosom friendship with her French counterpart, she said on Thursday, but her working relationship with François Hollande was strong and crucial for Europe. With her foreign minister saying Germany must not act with Teutonic arrogance towards its Eurozone neighbours, Merkel played down criticism she had received from France's ruling socialists. So Monsieur Hollande is plucky enough to get politically punchy with Dave Cameron, but he won't take on the Bavarian Fraulein. That's rather interesting, don't you think? The European Union appealed to Russia on Sunday not to introduce a law banning so-called gay propaganda, the EU said. Russia's lower house of parliament, the State Duma, intends to pass a law by the end of the current session, mid-July, banning dissemination of information among minors promoting homosexuality. With the CBI having already warned of the risks to industry of Britain no longer being at the heart of the European Union, a further uncomfortable truth surrounding the Conservative Party's increasingly isolationist rhetoric is now becoming apparent. Polling conducted by Panel Base for the Sunday Times and Real Radio Scotland has indicated that faced with the prospect of the UK leaving the European Union, support for Scotland becoming an independent country rockets in favour of yes. This article takes an interesting look at the marked differences from polls when framed in the different contexts. The European Commission's digital agenda chief has promised to break down the barriers between cellular firms across the 27 EU member states before she leaves office in just under two years. A telecoms market without borders, without fragmentation, and that is the major priority for the rest of my mandate, Neely Crowes said. She added that she has no intention to retire until she has knocked down all the barriers to the single market. See, I get confused with this trade and open market, closed market stuff. On the one hand, we have the Keynesian economists saying the market is self-regulating, so do not tamper, and then politicians mandating trading tariffs, regulation and deregulation. Can we not simply just get on and trade with one another, unrestricted, in a global marketplace? Ending months of hesitation, the European Union opened the door to adding the military wing of Lebanon's Hezbollah to its list of international terrorist groups, EU diplomats told Associated Free Press. A formal request to blacklist Lebanon's most powerful political and military group was filed by Britain and is to be discussed at closed-door talks of a committee overseeing the EU list of people and groups subject to its asset-freezing regime. We hope to have an agreement by the end of June on Hezbollah, said a diplomat close to the matter who spoke on condition of anonymity. A discussion to add the Shiite militia to the dozen people and scores of groups currently blacklisted by the EU, including Hamas and Colombia's FARC guerrillas, will require unanimity from the 27 EU member states. Today in our video library, I thought we would take a review of Eurocon Episode 1. Many of you have asked about the Foreign and Commonwealth Office document 301048. Well, in this short video, Trevor and Kate take a look at the details. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. 
You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the word section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, The Unit, on Google+. Links to the community page are below. <laughs>